Alrighty guys, Captain Scott here this morning. Today we're going to go out on the water. I'm going to show you your basic settings on your Hummingbird side imaging. How to get it dialed in with good clarity. Hopefully mark some fish and be able to identify what kind of fish those are on the side imaging. And we're also going to go out and mark some fish and hopefully put them in the boat using our side imaging. Stay tuned. Let's go get on the water. Let's go see if we can get it done. going to show you some of the basic settings on your side imaging but look at this right here you can see this here spotting a fish right here and you can sit shadow right here and you can definitely tell definitely what kind of fish that is that is a spoonbill so we already got our side imaging set up we know it's zeroed in great great footage here spoonbill detail on this thing is awesome I'm gonna go over here and zoom in on this fish yeah you can see the tail you can see the spoonbill on it Great shadow. See the shadow on the spoonbill. We're going to exit out of here. So basically, I want to show you some of the basic settings on the side imaging, how I've got mine set up. So I'm going to go to menu. As you can see on my sensitivity, I have it on 13. Contrast on 10. The side imaging range, I keep mine about 90, 95. It's set on 90 right now. You want it on 90. Um, the closer you got it in, the more detail you can have. You can see the good de de detail on that spoonbill. Side imaging, do one or the other. I do both. Chart speed five and the colors I have on uh, the SI colors I have on palette number one. There's several palettes to choose from two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's 12 different colors for side imaging. Find the color that you like. I like the blue. You can see some rock formations here now. So now we're just gonna turn around just a little bit. Exit out of that. Alrighty guys, as you can see here, we got our side imaging. Basically we're fishing on a little channel right here. But we've used our side imaging to mark which side of the channel the fish are on. Most of the fish are on this left side of this little channel right here. As you can see, I don't know if you can see in the background back here, but there's a buoy back here. That's a channel marker. But we used our side imaging to mark the fish on the left side. We just spot locked on them. And as you can see here, look at the pictures here. Here's some of the big fish we caught this morning. But we're just going to stay right here put. We're getting tons of bites. I don't know how many fish we caught this morning. How many fish we got this morning, guys? 15. Yeah, uh, we've kept uh, open the cooler up. We've kept a couple of big stroppers for. Uh, we got one big stropper. He's going to mount. We got one big mount stropper. He's going to mount. Then we got some little eater cats. We don't keep any catfish under ten pounds, but he's kept a few eater cats. I'm just glad I ain't got to go home and clean them for him. Yeah. So we've caught a pile of fish this morning. So we're just going to hang loose. See what happens. All right, now we're just checking this channel again. You can see the buoy. This is the buoy right here. That's the buoy cable. This is the buoy on your side imaging. Right here's the remnants of an old boat. Let me see if I can lighten it up a little bit. Yeah, you can see the old boat right here. This is the buoy cable with the buoy. We're just gonna hang it right here and go right back up this channel again yeah it vibrates at that one speed Just easing right back up this channel where we caught all them fish this morning. Double check, make sure we ain't gonna stripers. You can see a few fish here and there spotted. Good 
few fish in here. Them stripers are really stacked in here this morning. Looks like they've moved out of here. So we're gonna go check a couple other spots if we can locate some big fish using our side imaging, our 2D sonar, and put a bait down to them. All right, we've moved down here to some deeper water. We're marking a few fish. I go down to my down imaging, you can see I see a little bit of structure, silo fish, side image. This is the channel. This is the deep water here. We're marking a few fish here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fish right there. We're just gonna look around here. Looks like a little school of fish right there. You see them. Little school of fish. All kinds of little fish out here in the water column. Fish there on the bottom. Keep at him. Cat right there. We're going to ease over here. Marking a few fish on the bottom. These are all going to be catfish. Bait, little schools of fish. We're going to get the trolling motor out, our Minn Kota trolling motor, and we're going to spot lock and see if we can't catch a fish. Bowen over here, he's putting little rest. Is he swimming up river too? Watch your line, brother. Yeah, it's like they want to pick that bait up in that shallower water where we're casting, they want to swim back up river in this deeper water. He's still putting a little pressure on it. I don't like it when they do that, man. Sometimes it's hard to get that real good hook, hook, hook up because they're not putting that much pressure. That's why you got to leave in that rod holder. You just got to reel, reel, reel. As soon as you fish and fill that fish, you just got to reel some more. You just got to hope you get that hook in him. He's still putting... Where he left us. That white one, yeah, it's doing the same thing again. Maybe he's coming back. There's some pressure. Try him, everybody. You either you either got him or you ain't. Slide your rod up just a little bit. There you go. Now. Yeah, he's there. Anything to him? About the same. Uh, he's a little heavier than last one. All right, guys. Oh, you're good. He's five miles from the boat. Yeah, he ain't a monster because he ain't putting up no resistance. Austin ain't caught a giant today, but he's caught the shit out of him. Yeah, he's on that white rod again, Austin. See, that's definitely a fish. But he's acting like a blue now. You're busy, I'll get him for you. <laughs> hey, getting bigger. Right, hang on to him. Oh yeah, nice fish. Yeah. Here he comes. Flathead, guys, flathead. Here's our flathead, we got the trifecta. Boom. There we go. We wanted a flatty, we got a flatty. He's back. He's got a little pressure on it, Austin, but he's definitely a flatty. See, he's picked that bait up now. See how that rod tip's coming up a little bit? So he's picked that bait up and that sinker up. But he's never has put any pressure on that. There is a little bit of pressure. Yeah, man, he's got a berry toe. We need that fish to bury that. Yeah, see, he's... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not impressed now, Are you?
Yeah, when that rod bounces like that, he knows he's hooked. All right, go ahead and reel down on him. You're either going to get him or you ain't. Reel, reel till you feel fish. Anything oh, to him? Good one? Yeah. Tell me what you need, boss. All right. Yeah, just flip him out of the net. Awesome, got a double on. Yeah, good. Keep him tied, Awesome. We don't know how good he's hooked. Here he comes up. What's your line counter say? Yeah, here he comes. Here you go. Big old, what'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? Another flatty. Awesome with a double flatty. There you go, guys. Pulled down her deep water, used her side imaging, marked, marked a few fish, and right here in the floor, you got it. Double. I'll put the Hummingbird link down in the description. I'll also put what my settings are. Kind of make you a quick guide um, for your Hummingbird settings. So, alrighty, guys, I hope that helped you out. If, like I say, like, comment, subscri subscribe to my channel. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. I'd be glad to try to help you. If I can help you, then I will get a hummingbird professional uh, to either answer our question or get in touch with you and get your problem solved. We're here to help you guys. Tight lines. <laughs>